This is the story of the first ever SCP. Today, we're gonna to be learning about SCP-001. The guerrilla soldiers fire their rifles blindly into the jungle. Okay. They don't know what exactly they're shooting at, but something is out there among the trees. How do something they know? They can't see. Oh, that's something so weird. That's killing them. One what? of the young soldiers, barely more than a boy, stops to reload. As he pulls the magazine from his rifle, a blur passes by. Okay. The soldier next to him suddenly drops to his knees, clutching his neck, what? blood pouring out no. between his fingers. No way! A hand grasps the boy's shoulder, and he spins around, nearly opening fire on his um. commander. The older man tells him they've got to go, and the boy joins a well, small yeah. group of soldiers who start running through the jungle, trying to get away from whatever this thing this is. This is so creepy, guys. Just imagine you're in this situation. There's a creature out in the forest. That alone just sounds creepy, and you can't even see it. It's a blur that moves so fast, and it's destroying your entire unit of people. That is insane. As they run, there's another flash of movement, and one of the soldiers is pulled into the trees. Oh my god. You hear his screams mixed with the otherworldly shrieks. But there's nothing they can do. It's already too late for him. Oh, okay. Another soldier disappears into the trees with a blur. Okay, they're all dead. It's just him and the commander now. They emerge from the jungle into a clearing that contains a small <laughs> abandoned farm. <laughs> all right, why is he walking like this? Just, just watch this dude. He's walking like he has a stick in his butt. <laughs> commander motions for them to head towards the old farmhouse, and the two take cover around the corner of the home. They crouch with their guns ready, peeking around the corner looking for any sign of the monster that's killed so many of their comrades. I would be pooping my Boy pants. to know what they should do. He opens his mouth to ask the commander, but he puts a finger to his lips and motions for the boy to keep watching. Okay, so for whatever reason, it seems like this commander knows about the SCP that we're learning about today, which is the first ever SCP nicknamed the prototype. Now, I don't know why he knows these, this like weird information that like you can't, you can't talk, you gotta be quiet. Maybe he doesn't, and he's just kind of guessing, but it seems like he knows more than he's letting on. The boy peeks around the corner of the house, but he doesn't see anything emerging from the tree line. It's quiet, until the commander begins to scream. What? The boy turns to see a point forming on his chest. It's a black circle. Huh? No, not black. Something darker. It's like it is the darker absence than black? of any and all light. That's the a black hole. The screams louder as the point of darkness grows. The commander's screams fade out, even as it looks like he continues to yell. Huh? The boy watches as the commander <laughs> seems to be collapsing in, sucked into the Look dark orb in his chest. His feet are literally getting collapsed in. The folds in on itself, growing smaller and smaller until it disappears oh completely into the black hole. Oh my goodness! Which vanishes along with him. Wow. The boy doesn't know what he just saw. I don't think I do either. Time to think. Look behind him. Emerging from the forest is the creature. The boy has never seen oh, anything like it. Oh, this is a horror story. Yeah, he get out of there. The door and pushes the old kitchen table in front of it, oh, trying to barricade no. it as best he can. He looks around and spots a bed against the wall. It's the best hiding spot he can find. Okay. So he runs yeah, and just hide under, under there. The bed, pulling himself as close to the wall as he can. Yeah, that would be that's what I would do too. Waits, unsure of what he should do. It's quiet. There's no more screaming of soldiers being killed or any more of those guttural animal-like squeals. Okay, guys, I don't know if you have any information about SCP-001, but for whatever reason, you guys seem to know a lot about SCPs. So if you have any weird facts or information about the SCP, leave some comments down below because this is the first time I am ever seeing this SCP and it seems deadly. It seems like it might be more overpowered than shy guy more overpowered than the statue more overpowered than the red pool that like spawns in brand new scps it seems like this thing is really fast it can destroy you in one single hit and it also can form a black hole which is deadly i can't Maybe believe this thing even to exists go back to wherever it came from the boy doesn't dare come out from under the bed though as he watches the door waiting for something to burst through yeah i would stay there he for all of eternity else. Another of those black no points way! appears in the middle of the room. How? It looks like it bends the light around it, <laughs> distorting the room what? nearby. The boy watches from under the bed as out of the point, Yo. a thin black no, limb no, no. First one, then another. He can see its strange pointed legs with no feet standing just Ew. in front of the bed now. With a high-pitched cry, the creature effortlessly tosses the bed aside. Oh. The boy is left exposed, oh. cowering against the wall. <laughs> oh my God. The creature screams, opening its wide That's mouth it. that seems That's to the split its eyes face in two, revealing two rows of jagged teeth. The boy screams back, crying in fear, and sees that the creature isn't eyeless after all. What? Inside oh. its grotesque mouth, a milky blue ball appears. Is that an There's eyeball? No iris, but the boy knows whatever this thing is. It's looking at him. 
Oh, the boy feels my. his chest grow tight. He looks down to see that one of the black points is no. forming his chest. He can feel himself being squeezed and crushed, pulled down into this singular point. That is so noises, scary. including his screams, disappear as he is pulled into this soundless void. But then he hears something again. He looks up to huh? see that the creature is being riddled with bullets. Who? It turns Who to is that? and bursts through the wall of Who the Who shot house. him? The dark orb on the boy vanishes, and he sees, standing in the doorway, his friend and Sage. What? He no clutches his way. bleeding throat with one hand, holding his rifle in the other. The boy rushes to him as he collapses to the floor. Okay, I take it back. Uh, that SCP is is garbage. It, it literally, so a lot of SCPs, they don't take any damage from any like bullets or nuclear missiles. Like the hard to destroy reptile is one of the most overpowered SCPs because it can't be destroyed, literally. But it seems like the, the prototype, it's the first ever SCP and it can take damage from bullets, right? So, I, I mean, it seems powerful, but maybe not as powerful as I originally thought. Blood is pouring out of his neck and he can no longer speak, but he dies knowing he saved his young friend. I mean, the for now. starts to feel very tired. The SCP could still be out there. To his dead hero. He's all alone now, his entire group of freedom fighters now wiped out by this demon. Now would be a the good time to run, man. Dizzy. You should he run. into his hand and looks down to see that it's covered uh, in his own blood. Because, yeah, the black hole, it, I mean, it opened and it probably like messed up all of his internal things. A group of boys run down a jungle path. Is that laughing it? Laughing and playing. Is that the, the end of the story? And grow quiet. There's something up ahead of them. Do they it's find the house? lying on the side of the road. The boys look scared, unsure if they should I check mean, it out. Yeah, what's going on? But then the smallest on? of all of them emerges from the group and bravely marches up to the man. Not wanting to let the youngest of their friends make them look like cowards, the rest of the boys soon follow. Is that the prototype? The on the side of the road Wait, no, it kind of looks like the Plague Doctor. So I, I don't know if maybe this video has like multiple SCP stories combined into one. I thought it was just SCP-001, the prototype, which is the first ever SCP. But I don't know. This this guy, he looks a lot like the Plague Doctor. So maybe it is. And looks to be in pain. As they get closer, they can see that he must have been in a terrible accident. His skin is gray, and it looks like his long, thin arms only oh, have three oh, fingers. Oh, What should they do? Uh, the run! Boy picks run! Up and reaches out Get out of there! Him, not wanting to touch him with his own hands. What are you doing, bro? He can, the man rolls over. No, 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 no! Oh, yeah. mouth with a horrible shriek. <laughs> it still is the SCP. A glassy blue eye inside, as the boys turn and run, hands over their ears. <laughs> Several <laughs> weeks later, the small Guatemalan town holds a meeting. A crowd of people in the room are angrily yelling at the mayor, who stands at a podium demanding answers from him about what happened to their dead or missing loved ones. It's so weird because they didn't say like what time period this is taking place in. So, I mean, I, it looks like it's like modern day time because obviously like they have AK-47s and stuff. Maybe it's like the 50s or the 60s because I feel like kind of like in Stranger Things, that's kind of just like when a lot of this like experimental stuff happened in like the 50s, the 60s, the 70s and the 80s where people just like didn't care. They were just willing to test different things. And that's probably why they created SCP-001. They were probably trying to create like some superhuman and then they accidentally created this creature that can open black holes and destroy everything. So A it's people's of photos fault. are hung on the wall behind the mayor in remembrance of those who have disappeared into the forest or mysteriously died from a rapid illness, including the brave young boy. Yeah, there he is. One man shouts at the mayor, wanting to know where his daughter was. Another asks how her healthy husband could drop dead from an illness after being perfectly healthy only days before. Hmm. The mayor tries to calm the frustrated townspeople, telling them that he knows there have been rumors of a demon out in the forest, but that's all they are rumors nope nope the mayor warns them though not that rumors something is out there though he doesn't know what there is an animal or man that is making people sick it may also be hunting people neither he nor the police know exactly what is going on but there is good news a group of men okay. have come to help them yes finally we got the, the military towards a stern looking Boom, man baby. in a military uniform who good. is standing with a small group of other soldiers that's what we need firepower the stage the mayor explains that this man general machoy is from america and that he's going to help them. The crowd doesn't cheer in the way that the mayor seems to have expected. Okay, I am also kind of curious about the scientist that the um, that the commander came with, because if this is the first ever SCP, then does the SCP Foundation even exist yet? Like, is it just forming? Did the SCP Foundation make this SCP, or were they created after the fact to study the SCPs that, like, maybe the military made, maybe they made them in Area 51? Like, I don't really know where the SCP started or originated, 
So if you guys know anything, leave some comments down below. But I have a feeling that the SCP Foundation may be started after to study the SCPs that like the military created. But they at least stop their yelling as the general steps to the podium and thanks the mayor for the introduction. The general looks over the crowd who are waiting and hungry for answers about the monster that's suddenly begun plaguing their town. He tells them that it is true that he's been sent here by the US government in order to investigate what's been happening and stop whatever threat mm. is out there in the jungle by any means necessary. That is gruesome. He can't promise that he'll be able to bring back any of their missing loved ones, but he can at least prevent whatever this is from taking any more. Okay. He then gestures to the rest of his group and tells the crowd that the men he has brought with him have been specially trained to deal with this exact type of situation. So maybe they are in the SCP Foundation. That is weird because like, why would they be specially trained for SCPs, right? It doesn't make sense unless the SCP Foundation has already been created. And that they don't need to worry any longer. The only thing everyone needs to do is stay out of their way and all will be taken care of. With that, he walks off the stage as the crowd erupts into more <laughs> shouting. General Machoy stops at the scientists waiting next to the stage. Well, Dr. Ketter, what do you think? The scientist adjusts his glasses and answers, this is what we've been preparing for. The overseers kept telling us this day would come. The overseers. Looks like it finally has. The group of soldiers led okay, by that's General really Machoy sus. make their way through the dense forest. Dr. Ketter is just ahead of them, using a Geiger counter to follow the creature, the audible clicks of the radioactive entity telling him which way it came. They track the source of the radiation to a clearing in the jungle where a small village once stood. Mm. Most of the <clears> buildings are overgrown with plants and thick vines, but with it growing dark, this seems as safe a place as they will find to make their camp <clears> for the night. Why did they go there at night, dude? They should have went there during the day. Nothing good happens at night. The soldiers fan out to search what's left of the town as Dr. Ketter continues looking around for where the radioactive trail might lead them next. As General <laughs> Joy is checking out one of the many dark oh old buildings, one of the older soldiers cries out, Hey General, it looks like this generator still works. Huh? With the sound of an old diesel motor coming to life, okay. lights in the village suddenly flicker on. They now have fortifications and light. That's crazy that that still it. works. General Machoy was feeling nervous about spending the night in the jungle, but now at least some of those nerves were being washed away by the old flickering yellow lights. Okay. Later that night, the general is questioning Dr. Ketter on where the creature went. Dr. Ketter is confused, though. His readings showed high traces. Oh, no, no. It's going to be right in the village. Of course it is, bro. Of course he's confused. He's like, huh, the radioactive levels, they're really high right here. I wonder where he could be. And then, boom, they're all going to die. The radiation leading into this village. The creature came here. He was sure of it. <clears throat> but now he can't figure out where it went. It's in the village. It's as if it came into the village and then simply vanished. Or maybe it's Outside, still in the village. One of the soldiers on watch tells the rest of the group who are sitting around a fire to shut up that he thinks he saw something in the woods. Oh, Everyone immediately no, springs no, into no, action, no, 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 taking no, no, defensive no. positions and aiming their rifles into the dark tree line. There it is again, he says. It, that's it. That's it. They're all dead. Just They're all the dead. No, it's over here, says another soldier on the opposite side. How could the creature be moving so fast around them? Are there multiple of whatever this is out there? Nope. He's the just really form fast. A circle to make sure that the thing can't get behind them. What they can't see is the point of darkness oh. forming behind all of their backs and the thin pointed legs. Oh. The general's oh radio comes to life. I think we've got something out here, Gen. But his message is cut off by screams and the sound of gunfire. <laughs> general Machoy tells Dr. Wait, that was such a funny is face. By screams and the, sound the scientist of is like, oh, we're all dead. Gunfire. General Machoy tells Dr. Ketter to stay inside and runs out of the building where he finally gets a glimpse of the demon that they've been tracking. The you can tall, see it. The oh! creature is massacring his squad. It dashes between Whoa! them at an inhuman speed, using its three-fingered hands to rip Yo, the limbs wow! off some soldiers wow! and slash at others with its razor-sharp claws, opening up their necks or disemboweling them before moving on to the next. The general fires his rifle at the creature and misses, but it's Ugh. enough to get it to retreat. General Machoy runs back inside the building where Dr. Ketter is waiting. What was it? What did you see out there? What do you think? The general doesn't know how to begin describing- Okay, I'm starting to think this scientist might be dumb. The monster that just killed all of his men. It's like nothing he's ever seen before. And something that no amount of training could prepare him for. As the two men ponder what to do next, the Geiger counter on the table suddenly uh -oh. starts to click. It's getting closer. First, but then more and more. It's getting a closer. Of radiation has suddenly flooded the room. Oh, brother. The general grabs the doctor and drags him out, leaping out of the building just before it collapses in on itself, disappearing wow. into the micro singularity that formed inside. The two men look up to see it standing right in front of them. 
its huge mouth open to reveal its glassy blue eye. Look out, Dr. Ketter cries, but he isn't <laughs> talking about the demon as he and the general oh, the black roll hole, to the side, right? just oh. avoiding the power oh, wow. line that has been cut loose by the destroyed building. Okay, maybe the scientist the is kind of smart. The power the ground and immediately begins to spark, sending out bright pulses of white electrical light. The creature cries out with a gut-wrenching scream and collapses to the ground, huddling up into a ball oh. as it tries to cover up its mouth with its thin oh, arm. Oh, that's so weird. Is it the electricity? The general asks, confused about what suddenly stopped the killer's rampage. Huh. But Dr. Ketter realizes. <laughs> I don't know what it is about Dr. Ketter, but he makes some really crazy faces. <laughs> Why does it look like he's trying to poop? It isn't the sparking power line that the creature has been immobilized by. It's the light. It's the flashing lights. Oh. The general doesn't wait for well, his answer, though. <laughs> A rocket launcher out of his flipping butt. Where did that come from? And fires the weighted net from his gun, trapping the oh, howling it's a, creature. It's a maybe. Okay, maybe not a rocket launcher, but they captured it. Dr. examines the wow. creature at the field research center that has been set up several miles from the village. A strobe light has. Okay, I'm kind of curious as well. Like, how were they able to transport the SCP, considering it can just go into a black hole? Like, wouldn't it just escape immediately? Been affixed to the inside of the creature's cage, but even when the doctor turns the light off. The grayish brown skinned entity still remains curled up in a ball on the floor. Oh. The doctor wonders if perhaps the creature is hungry, but it shows no interest in any of the various meats, fruits, and vegetables they've presented to it. The doctor stands in the doorway of the tent that has been set up to house the creature's cage and gives an update to General Machoy, who is anxious to get the creature moved to the United States and a more secure containment environment. Dr. Ketter stresses that he fears the journey might kill this creature, though, and put an end to the incredible research and testing they can perform on this amazing living specimen. The general turns oh. to leave, but stops to salute the body of one of his soldiers being carried by on a stretcher. Oh, wow. Dr. Ketter That's himself so turns to go back to his research when he notices something. The creature's mouth is ever so slightly open. What does that mean? Dr. Ketter has yet another idea. That night, um, Dr. Ketter enters the temporary morgue and what takes are you a doing? severed arm from one no. of the dead soldiers. No. Back in the research tent, he presents the arm to the creature, sliding it through the cage bars. The creature doesn't react. No, 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 but Dr. No, no, Ketter no, no, no. continues to watch and wait. Why would you After do time, this? The creature finally stirs. Dr. It's Ketter. It's the first time he has seen it move since it was captured. The creature reaches out with its long three-fingered oh, hand and grabs the boy. arm before starting to feed on it. No! You like that, don't you? Dr. Ketter asks. Ew. And bizarrely, the creature seems to respond, giving an almost baby-like coo. There's lots more of that if you behave. All I want huh? is to study you, learn how you work. Okay, this scientist has lost feed, his mind. Starting to crunch on the bones now that all of the meat is gone. Yes, I believe you'll be good, the doctor says as he approaches the cage. Um, You're going to make me world famous. Okay, Soon, this scientist is, he's a bad guy. Herman Ke the creature's oh! hand shoots out from between the bars so quickly he never even saw it. Dr. Ketter starts to scream as it grasps and claws at him. No a soldier way. standing guard outside runs in but a black point of light immediately no appears on his way. torso, causing him to fold in on himself into the singularity. The creature drops the bloody Dr. Ketter to the floor, who wow. reaches for the emergency strobe light activation button <clears throat> as another singularity opens up inside of the cage. Oh my god, he's gonna escape! The creature appears to willfully step into it, before emerging out of another just outside of the bars. Oh. More soldiers rush into the no, tent in time no, to see the no. feeding on the still living Dr. Ketter. One presses the button to wow. activate the high-powered strobe lights, which cause the creature to start screaming and thrashing about, trying to escape the flashing lights. Multiple nets are fired onto the creature, pinning it to the ground as its screams slowly fade back Okay, to so they captured it again. On overseer orders, the creature <clears throat> is moved to ADRX-19, a secure base located somewhere in North America. Okay, the so the, director the SCP's foundation got its hands on the SCP. But not before the doctor got, he got deleted. It's a presentation to a group and explains that thanks to the work of the late Dr. Ketter, they now know that the creature exhibits signs of fear and sickness when in the presence of strobing lights, and that it is unable to produce the micro-singularities that it uses for defense and teleportation when it is in this sickened state. Interesting. When healthy, though, the creature is extremely dangerous thanks to its superhuman speed, strength, yeah. and cunning. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely a Keter class. It was class. also discovered that it is unable to teleport through lead which its new containment cell has oh, been learned with. How do they figure that out? extreme security procedures have been implemented, including the installation of a reinforced steel blast door and constant patrols of the outside of the cell by armed guards who are equipped with high-powered strobe lights. Hmm. The site director leaves the room and the overseers discuss the fate of the creature, which has been given the designation number 86243AR-001, though most have taken to calling it simply 001. 
One of the overseers argues that the creature must be secured and contained in order to protect humanity. So I'm really curious as well, because it seems like this is the first ever SCP that they're documenting. However, like they have some sort of foundation. They have a group of like people that know about the SCPs. So it seems like they they have seen other SCPs, but it's weird because they named this one 001. So it's the first ever SCP, but I don't know. It seems like they know a lot more than we know, which is weird. Who knows how many more of these might be out there. They now know that the rumors of these types of entities aren't merely isolated events, and that there could be countless more of these anomalies, hundreds, maybe even thousands. There are thousands. The rest of the overseers unanimously agree. One of them picks up the report that was left behind by the site director. Redact this report immediately and start a new document <clears throat> archive. This is only the prototype. I have the feeling there will be many more of these. I hope you enjoyed wow. this special exploration. Of and that was it. Shout out to Dr. Bob for that amazing video on the first ever SCP. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you guys leave a like on today's video. And while you're at it, click this video right here to learn more about SCPs.